In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up AWS Lambda and Route 53 and API Gateway to be able to redirect from one domain to another. So in this case, I, for work, I had a domain, we'll just say example.com, and I wanted to redirect from example.com to google.com. And this is the best way that I found to do it, or at least one of the easiest. So before this, I tried using um, S3 and setting a static application which returned a redirect. The problem I had with that was that it was really slow. And then also it didn't catch anything after the root. So if I went to example.com slash test, it wouldn't redirect to Google. It would just go a not found. Um, if I went to test, if I went to example.com without anything after the root, then it would go to google.com. So this is the best way I found to fix that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a Lambda function. We're just gonna call it redirect to Google. And we're going to use node 18, create the function. Okay, so now for the code, it's going to be really simple. You can basically get rid of all of this. Um, I actually have copied I used before. So basically, we're going to return an empty body. In the headers, we're going to set the location to where we want to redirect to. In this case, I'm going to do uh, google.com. And then I don't think you need as base 64 encoded, but in the docs, for AWS, it said that it was best practices to include it, so I just did. The status code is 301. So now we're just going to deploy this. All right. And now we have our Lambda function. Now we need to set up uh, the API gateway. All right, so here in API gateway, we're going to create a new REST API. Um, this technically isn't a REST API, but I found this is the best way to do it. Here it filled in this example API. I, I'm just going to do a new API. I don't need the example. And for this, we're going to call redirect to Google. All right, create the API. Okay, so now we need to create a resource. Um, first, I'm going to do is a proxy resource. This is going to basically catch anything that comes after the root or the beginning slash. So like I said earlier, if you went to example.com slash test, it wasn't redirecting. This proxy resource will let us catch that. We'll go ahead and create the resource. And then we're also going to go back to this root and we're going to create a new method here, which is going to be a get. And we're going to create that. And we're going to use a Lambda function. We're going to use the Lambda proxy integration. And here we're going to type in the name of our Lambda function, which in this case is redirect to Google. Let's save. We're going to give it permission and come over to the proxy we're going to do the same thing um, redirect google save hit okay and now we should be set up so now you don't have to do this step this is just like providing a little bit of documentation but we're going to remove the 200 status because this is never going to return a 200 we're going to set it up to only return a 301 type that in here and then Gonna also return the location header. We'll set that up. Boom and done. Okay. So now let's just go ahead and test this out. Hit test, and we should see right here status is 301. And in the response headers, we have a location header which is pointing to Google. So everything seems to be working fine. Um, so next, we're just gonna go ahead and deploy this. Deploy API. We're gonna do a new stage, and the stage name is gonna be default and hit deploy. All right, so now we have this uh, invoke URL that we can test. So if I click right here, it's gonna open up a new tab and uh, you can't see it because I'm not recording that tab, but it did exactly what I wanted. It redirected straight to Google. So that's great. Um, so I think everything here is good. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up custom domain names. Let's hit create. And then on this AWS account, I have um, a domain called slcwebsites.com. We'll just use that and our certificate here. And then click create domain name. All right, successfully created the domain name. Uh, so now we're going to go to API mappings, configure API mappings, add a new mapping. And we need to select the API gateway we set up earlier. And we set it up to use the default stage. And then we just hit save. Once that's done, we can now head over to Route 53. Here in Route 53, I'll click into the hosted zone. And then I'm going to create a new record. 
We're not going to use a subdomain. This is going to be an A record, and we actually want to use the alias setting. So under alias, we're going to go to alias to API gateway, choose our AWS region. And now, as long as you have everything set up correct to this point, you'll have the option to choose the correct API gateway right here. If you didn't set up a custom domain name correctly, then you won't have this option. So just select the option that shows up there and go ahead and click create records. And now that's done. So now it's going to take it, I think, like 60 seconds to propagate through the DNS servers. But if we go to, let's just go and try it, SLC websites. Um, and as you can see, it redirected over to Google. So that worked perfectly. Let's try one more thing. SLC websites.com slash test. That also redirected to Google. Everything's working correctly here. That's how I was able to set up using Lambda, um, Route 53, and API Gateway. I redirect from one domain to another. Pretty straightforward, and hopefully this video helps somebody.